Hey guys, it's Meal Before Me, and I'm back with another snack review. This time, we're checking out Feastables, a snack brand created by Jimmy Donaldson, who you likely know better as Mr. Beast. It includes a line of chocolate bars manufactured in Peru and here in the US, and from the website, it looks like it currently has seven varieties. Milk chocolate, milk chocolate crunch, peanut butter, peanut butter crunch, almond, dark chocolate, and dark chocolate with sea salt. Now, I don't watch Mr. Beast, and I wasn't looking to review Feastables, but they added a standee for it at my grocery the last time I was there, so I grabbed what they had in case you were curious about it. Unfortunately, they only had two flavors, so this will be a very quick review. Starting with Milk Crunch, which is milk chocolate with puffed rice, so I immediately think of a Nestle Crunch. I don't know if the bars come in different sizes because both of the ones I got say they're 1.24 ounces, but the images on the website say 2.1 ounces. Either way, they were $1.99 a piece. So the Milk Crunch was good. It had a nice balance of crunchy puffs to chocolate, making the chocolate taste more dense than it would have if it had more puffs in it. The chocolate had a nice mouthfeel. It wasn't waxy or grainy. It also wasn't too sweet, though I can tell without looking at the package that it's a level of sugar my teeth don't like. And I haven't had a Nestle Crunch in years, so take this with a grain of salt. But I think I remember them being thinner, having way more puffs, and there being an extra flavor to the chocolate, almost like it had vanilla in it or something. Regardless, if you like Nestle Crunch bars, I can't imagine you wouldn't like this. I do appreciate the fact that the design isn't uniform here, and I would have said that it's nice if you want to eat or share smaller pieces, except that the chocolate is very melty, so I don't think you'd be able to get a clean break with the smaller squares unless you kept it in the fridge, and maybe not even then. As for the peanut butter crunch, in my opinion, this one was much better. I don't really like peanut butter except with chocolate, so I'm very picky about the ratio because if the peanut butter taste is too strong or there's too much of it, it's overpowering to me and very unpleasant. Here, the little layer of peanut butter is perfect. You know, it's just enough to add a salty nuttiness to the chocolate that brightens it up without being too strong. So if I had to pick only one of these, I'd get this one. But it's again, very melty. And thinking back to the Hershey review I did, these seem way meltier than any of those, even the peanut butter cups, and those were sitting out under lights before I opened them. I don't have any lights on right now, it's rainy and cold, and these aren't having any of it. They're still melting all over the place, so they don't seem great for popping in a bag to carry around, unless you don't mind a bendy chocolate mess. Otherwise, I think they're really tasty and on par with any regular brand you'd find at the store. The only reason I wouldn't buy them again is the price for the size. On the rare occasion that I get a craving for a chocolate bar, for two bucks, I'd choose something bigger, like an extra large symphony bar, I wouldn't bother spending two bucks on this. Like I literally just ate both candy bars in what felt like two bites and they're gone. I'd only spend that much on a candy bar this small if it had something really interesting going on with the mix of ingredients or a more dynamic, unique flavor. Like that German Milka brand made with Alpine milk. If you've never had their chocolate, I would highly recommend trying it. But if you just want a small chocolate bar and the price isn't an issue, or you're a Mr. Beast fan that wants to support his brand, the repeatability on these is absolutely a yes. But let me know if you've tried any of these or anything else from the Feastables brand. I think they make cookies, but I've never seen them anywhere. So if you've had them, please let everyone know in the comments what you think. Thanks so much for watching MBM, and I'll see you snackies when I'm backies.